Hey guys, what's going on? This is Kill723 and welcome to Let's Play Portal 2. So after how much I enjoyed the first Portal game, I decided I would uh, go to the second Portal game. Uh, but first I need to tell you something. That uh, this wasn't my first choice to play after Portal. Uh, I actually went to play Half-Life 1 on hard mode. And I thought I was doing fairly well. But, long story short, there is some uh, problem with the Half-Life 1 uh, game, Bandicam, and Sony Vegas that resulted in one of the videos becoming corrupted, meaning that I can no longer use it and there is a gap in that playthrough. Which means I basically have to scrap that playthrough and I'll have to come back to it in a couple months once I've forgotten uh, layout designs and uh, monster locations, so on and so forth. So in the meantime, I am going to play Portal 2 because I am not in the mood to play a horror game right now. Uh, Skyrim wasn't working properly and uh, just things acting dumb. So yeah, Portal 2. So uh, at the end of Portal 1, we escaped Aperture and then fainted and then got taken away because we assumed the party position. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look nice up painting. at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Good. Nice. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, That's art. stare at the art. I am staring at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. La, 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 la. Uh, my frames are quite low, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to turn captions on. Hmm. Okay, hopefully they'll increase later. Good. Now please return to your bed. Yeah, maybe it's just part of the intro. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call is to Hello? Anyone in there? The enrichment center. Hello? Any test up? Ah! Ah! Oh, God, God, you look um good. Looking. Okay, now I'm at eight frames. That's bad. It's going to screw with the video some. Good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it slow. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay oh. calm, stay, stay oh, calm, dear. prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine, all right? Don't move, I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might wanna hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. What do I hang on to? Where am I going? You all right down there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear Hello? you. I only want, um... Uh. Uh. 
better. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's oh, not dear. out of the question that you might have a very minor case <laughs> of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple, apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. I guess I'm still a silent All protagonist. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please uh -oh. prepare for reactor core meltdown. Uh oh, that's bad. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of Where course, are we? tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? Whoa. You know, the of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. <laughs> okay, uh, I just got to concentrate. Coming through. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Yikes. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, Tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. I mean, I should back up. Uh-oh. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override <laughs> on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. I like the sky. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Uh oh. Whoa. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. What was that? We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance <laughs> beyond our control. <laughs> However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Yeah, I think that's the happened. Will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two. Let me take the one. clipboard. Uh, my frames are much better now. So, what's going on here? Do I really Cube need? And button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. We'll see about that. Where's my clipboard? Give me that. I oh, my clipboard! That's cool. Well, what's with the whole jungle theme? It's only been five minutes? Wow. That was an intense... That was an intense five minutes. So we're still in, uh, Aperture. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your temples. 
You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside Oh dear. That sounds bad. Can I go over here? Cool. Uh, the, uh, cannot use sound has changed. So it looks like there's still 19 tests. Do I still not take fall damage? Okay. What does this button do? Ah! And there I am. So I gotta pick up this cube and go through the portal. And, um... Should be a button around here somewhere. So we're gonna go back to the orange portal. And drop it on the button. Which opens this thing. I guess. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. No! And your science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good one. So, um... In the last, uh, in Portal 1... If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Whoa. Animal King Takeover Service Announcement. Whoa. So we saw in the last episode that there's some connection between Aperture Science and Black Mesa. Not last episode, Portal 1. So we're on to test 2. Hey, hey! You made it! Oh, hello, I like you. There should you. be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell. Oh! Ah, crap. Alright, I don't take fall damage. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, you should ask that first. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm still waiting for you up ahead. Whoa. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in Whoa. a hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. These are some... These are some drawings. Companion cube. That was what I did, isn't it? Whoa. What is going on here? Ugh. Copy machine. Oh, that's nice. It tells me where my portals are. Some computer equipment. Monitor. Where's the actual computer? Oh, it's beneath the monitor, of course. So what's going... what's happened here? Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. To share. 
Well, thanks for informing me. Whoever you are. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Uh, where do I fill out paperwork? Oh, I'm in a world where I can't cast orange portals. So this is definitely confusing. Oh, shut up, Dryer. No one cares about you. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, oh. smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Remember your evacuation training. Hey, where'd my smooth jazz go? Saving game. Still uses F6. Nice. Oh, that's just support. What was that? Ah, let's see. This doesn't seem that bad. What's... I mean, I like the smooth jazz, but this doesn't seem that bad, unless there's... Uh-oh. What did that do? Oh, I need to have both of them active at the same time. Okay. So what's the purpose of coming up here? Oh. Um, hold on a second. So one cube goes there. And the other cube goes Great work. Ah, this come message on. is pre-recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. What? Whoa. Uh, no thanks. I'd like to look around some. Unreason. We've got some math going on here. Math and physics. One fourth something squared minus G squared over R. T zero over I think that's a gamma. So I'm not sure what part of physics that is. Yeah, society is going to pieces. Oh, I thought that was going to be an android. Remember your evacuation training. I didn't have any evacuation training. I just got picked up by some British robot. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we're no longer in the, a Half-Life 2 source engine. According to uh, Bandicam, uh, Portal 2 has its if own source If the enrichment center is currently engine. being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> I love this just uh, passive-aggressive 
humor. What was that? Yeah. What does this button do? I said, what does this button do? Okay. That doesn't look safe. I cannot cast a portal over there. What does this do? Okay. Excellent. So we got this block. We're gonna dispense another one. I'm confused. There can only exist one cube at a time. Strange. Still can't, I can't sprint. Oh, gee. Why does this have to be so complicated? What does this button do? Oh, no! What about this one? I see. Push this button. Then I push this button. Ah! Okay, let's try that again. Push this button, then you push this button. Yay! I did it! I can solve problems. Sort of. But pick up this cube. And push it on the button. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Wow. Impressive. Why are we going deeper underground? Or maybe we're just so high up in the air. I have no idea. Please remain calm. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Well, um, as far as we know, the laws of physics uh, apply everywhere, except in situations of extreme gravity. Yay! I broke it! I love breaking these for some reason. So it looks like I can get killed by falling uh, cubes. So I'm gonna try and get myself killed by a falling cube. Thank you. So, uh. Oh, I see what you need to do. That was pretty straightforward. So I need to get a cube up here, wherever cubes reside. Where do cubes reside in these days? Ah, there we go. Um, oh, right. I gotta get across. So how do I get out of here? Oh. Okay. Now we'll go... Can we drop the cube? Where is the... Oh, I have to create a portal first. So we'll create the portal. And then drop the cube. Yay! That was cool. And then we drop me through the hole. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, 
Testing is the future, and the future starts with you. So am I technically a non-employee? Because in the last episode, or in the last game, I escaped Aperture Science. Ooh, I like that music. Let's go down here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, good. Good thing I don't take fall damage or else I would be dead. Um, so fall down in the hole and go across the gap. So where does this cube, where is this cube needed? Ow! Ow! Oh no, the cube! I'll save you! Oh, it worked. Um, so where again is the, this cube wanted? Okay, so I'm gonna need to do that again. Woo! Yeah! So we've got the cube. Then we jump through the portal again. Ow. Kind of hurt. Um, is there really a purpose to have that glass wall there? Ah, oh, come on, cube. There we go. So what the heck did that do? I jump down in the hole again. Ah, crap. Yeah. Alright, we'll jump in the hole again. Woo! Uh oh. Uh, try that. Yeah. Crap. Alright, we'll try it again. Yeah. Ow. 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 Okay, I'm just failing miserably. Ow. Ow. Yay! Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. Okay. Oh, I can't go back. Well, I guess you're stuck with me then. Where am I going? And what science are we conducting by doing all these weird experiments? Might to I ensure ask? that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Yes, I have questions and concerns about this policy. My father is a civil engineer. He will have a fit over this. Hey! Hi, hi! I'm up here! Where's up here? Oh. Okay. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. Okay. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. No. On three. Ready? Ugh. One. It's going to die. Two. 
Three. That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it? Really. That. Oh. All right. Going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay. Ready? One. Catch me! Catch me! Catch! Ow! I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. This? Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Got I open while your back was turned. Pick me up. Well, let's get out of here. And off we go. You go back on here. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Bunch of cubes. What is the purpose of you? Should I trust you? Oh, no. Yes! Hello! No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. Ugh, these things. Hello. You don't see anything. You. Is it safe to walk normally now? Cutscene, or loading screen rather. So, what is this guy's name again? Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something wait, right wait. now. Wait, In order wait. to escape, we're gonna have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Lag. If you want to just call it quits, and we could just sit here forever. That's an option. Option A, sit here, do nothing. Option B, go through there, and if she's alive, she'll almost certainly kill us. So, oh, if you've got any reservations whatsoever about this plan, now would be a tremendous time to voice them. I... Right now. I can't talk. Well, I can, but I can, but I can't. <laughs> I can't put you down. Ah, crap. Alright, whatever. I've got some serious lag. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna go in there. Don't, don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Alright, uh, before we go into this chamber of almost certain death, uh, I am almost out of time. So I am going to cut the episode here. So... As I like to say, I love my computer because my friends live in it. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Wheatley. Uh. I can't do a British accent. Or maybe I can. Oh!